Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can draw boxes or rectangles around important data to set it off in a report. Or you may simply use the boxes as an additional enhancement to the appearance of the report. Creating boxes within a report is very much like creating lines in a report. You can create boxes in a report by either clicking the Insert Box button in the Insert Toolbar or by choosing Insert and then the Box command from the menu bar. Once again, your mouse pointer will appear as a pencil when you hold it over the report. At that point, click and drag from one corner of the area over which you want to place the box across to the opposite corner, releasing the mouse pointer when the box covers the desired report area. Now when you click the border of the box, it should appear selected, with the resizing squares displayed around the perimeter of the box. You can place your mouse pointer over any one of these squares until your mouse pointer changes into a double pointed arrow. Then click and drag to resize the box or square if needed. You can place your mouse pointer over the border anywhere except where the resizing handles appear and click and drag at that point to move the box around within the report section. To change the appearance of a box that you have drawn, you can either right click the border of the object and then select the format box command from the pop-up menu that appears or you can click the box to select it and then choose the format and then format box commands from the menu bar. Either way you will launch the format editor dialog box. There are two tabs in this dialog box which are used to change the appearance of boxes, the box tab and the rounding tab. You can click the box tab to display general formatting options for the box. You can use the style drop down to select the border style of the box none, single, dashed, or dotted. Click the button in the width section that represents the desired thickness of the box's border. Use the color drop down below that to choose the color of the box's border. If you want to apply a drop shadow to the box, then check the checkbox for that option. If you would like to fill the box with the color, then check the color checkbox within the fill section. If you do check the checkbox, then use the drop down that appears to the right of that to choose the desired fill color. If you check the Always Close Border checkbox, Crystal Reports will end the box to enclose the data displayed on a page when a page break occurs within a box in the report. If you check the Extend to Bottom of Section when Printing checkbox, you allow the box to extend to the bottom of the section when printing. This is usually checked when placing a box around variable length data. If you check the Suppress checkbox, you will not print the box when the report is printed. Checking the Read Only checkbox will prevent additional formatting changes to the selected box. Checking the Repeat on Horizontal Pages checkbox will let the box repeat across horizontal page breaks if necessary. Checking the Lock Position and Size checkbox will set the position and size of the box so that it cannot be moved within the report. When you're finished, click the OK button to apply the formatting changes you've selected. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.